Et salut à tous, bienvenue sur Salto Arrière, ici Roman. Aujourd'hui je suis vraiment content de vous retrouver pour une vidéo un peu spéciale puisqu'en fait j'ai décidé de partager avec vous une vidéo que j'ai trouvée sur le net tout récemment. Euh, J'étais sur YouTube et hop je l'ai vu, je me suis dit waouh ça c'est ça c'est un peu mon domaine. Alors il y avait marqué gymnastique, paléo, crossfit. Donc je me suis dit ah ouais ça ça peut m'intéresser. Je l'ai regardé, je l'ai trouvé juste génial et je l'ai regardé ensuite dix fois d'affilée euh, pour vraiment comprendre tous les conseils euh, que donne la personne dans cette vidéo. Et euh, vraiment, ça a été une grosse source d'inspiration pour moi. Euh, vraiment, parmi les, toutes les vidéos que j'ai vues sur YouTube dernièrement, c'est vraiment ma préférée. Euh, donc, je me suis dit, euh, elle est tellement géniale, je voulais la partager avec vous. Mais en fait, euh, c'était en anglais. Donc, du coup, j'ai demandé aux auteurs, je leur ai dit, est-ce qu'il y aurait moyen de faire une petite traduction française pour, euh, pour nous, euh, chers français Et ils m'ont dit, pas de souci. Donc, du coup, je me suis attelé à la tâche. Mon niveau d'anglais est à peu près correct. Donc, euh, il, y aura, il est possible qu'il y ait deux, trois fautes. Mais euh, je pense quand même que, que vous comprendrez vraiment l'essentiel de la vidéo. Et euh, je pense vraiment que si vous vous intéressez un peu au monde de l'acrobatie euh, et tout ça, je pense qu'elle va vraiment vous plaire. Donc voilà, je vous en dis pas plus. Regardez-la. Et euh, comme d'habitude, n'hésitez pas à laisser un commentaire en bas de la vidéo euh, pour réagir ensuite euh, à cette vidéo. Voilà. <rire> Allez, je vous laisse regarder ça. A tout de suite. Oh yeah, my name is Ido Portal. I grew up in Israel. Born and raised. First, I don't do fitness, my friend. That's not what I do. <laughs> I talk about movement, yeah? Fitness is a small, small, small world within the universe of movement. I view it as a limited world. A world with many problems. A polluted world. Um, gymnastics and yoga and boxing and mind-body methods and other martial arts and, and uh, various sports and ballet and hand balancing, circus arts, a lot of things. And, but actually, people who practiced movement never missed anything. It was always there. It's, it's movement that I'm passionate about. And the, the last three years I've been on the road uh, teaching my, my point of view to be able to, to move around, invert yourself, crawl on the ground, lift, climb, brachiate, flip, twist, you know, just have this freedom. It's, it's for everyone. It's fun. It's, it's the best. It's just... Um... I mean, what do you think about CrossFit? Well, CrossFit. CrossFit is a... <laughs> it's an interesting beast. Nobody can ignore CrossFit. CrossFit, in my view, has done more good than bad. It's not perfect, it's evolving, it's changing, but it brought back a lot of good stuff, like Olympic lifting, gymnastics rings. There are many ways to skin a cat. There are CrossFit gyms, and there are CrossFit gyms. And some facilities are doing amazing work, and are movement geared and quality geared, etc., etc. People want to move. They want to flow on the ground. They want to do handstands, and they want to they want to be mobile. They want to be flexible. They don't want to they don't want to bench press so much. A moment of realization in the market. What are we training for? <laughs> it never arrives. We're always preparing and training. We want to do it. We want to move. You know, we're training for what? And what we do is very immediate. It's the moment. That's what you are, you are not training, you are moving. And if you cannot move your body and control it, this self-dominance that I became known for, then what business do you have moving other objects outside of you? You know, if you cannot control your own self. Well, who has been some of your uh, inspirations or who do you look to for inspiration? Uh, I make every day hours for motivation. I motivate myself, I make time, I make appointments with myself to motivate myself and inspire myself. I don't wait for it to come, to come from the heavens and to fall on me. I do Olympic lifting, I practice Olympic lifting and I do some prehab, rehab, shoulder stabilization work which requires a bit more accuracy uh, with weights and I also use weights mainly to stretch. Nutrition must come in a big, uh, a big part. Yeah, definitely. Yes, I've always been the nutrition guy. I'm a follower of the, the paleo diet, a big advocate of, of paleo diet. But 
Uh, I've been doing it for 15 years. I'm, uh, yeah, meat and veggies, you know, mostly animal protein and some leafy, mostly. The most well-rounded, complex, difficult, demanding sport I ever run into is gymnastics. Yeah, I cannot think of anything more, more complete, more holistic. Is it perfect? No. Gymnasts, for example, can't jump for shit. Their vertical jumps are terrible. Um, they are rebounders. They rely on a surface that has springs, which means they don't develop their own springs. Uh, they can do what you do almost as good as you, but you can't do what they do at all. You, you won't be able to. You cannot even play with these kids. These kids are in an elite team. And uh, you understand that these people are superhuman, really. This guy's doing workouts on bars. And they're getting like hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of views on YouTube. And there's this big hype about it. But any gymnastic that you could pull out from any gymnasium could do it probably better. <laughs> Much better. It's actually all that they do. Uh, with respect, they're doing amazing things. But all that they do is actually broken up gymnastics. The reason for our brains is actually the developmental of movement complexity, the, the development of movement complexity. We do, even after I train six hours a day, I will still try to climb the stairs only on my big toe, you know, walking up to my apartment because I want to, to condition this for climbing, to create this platform. So you know how two dogs meet each other on the street and they, they kind of start to wrestle around a bit and smell each other? Imagine it was us. Imagine we had this. We were walking down the street and no hello, nothing, just a complete stranger. Start to play with him, start to, you know, wrestle around, move around. No, but we've become so distant. Move. Move because you can. If you won't, probably you won't be able to use it or you're going to lose it and it's going to be a bad day when you lose it move move Speak to me like you speak to God All of the love and understanding between the Father and the Son